Hey, hey. <laughs> Good morning. I thought I'd try something different. Um, and, uh, well, um, ready for another day uh, at work. You know, I'm going to that. I don't know if I told you that yesterday in the vlog. I'm going to that uh, job I, you know, the house to house uh, collection because I have a meeting there. Uh, we'll see what that gives. But what I wanted to tell you this morning already, yesterday I actually watched the news, something I don't regularly do, but hey. And um, what I saw in Brussels was, despite of all the, 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 the terror that took place there and the people that died, and it's of course bad that the people died, but something wonderful happened. The people came together and they put messages with chalk on the floor, uh, on the on the ground, uh, at some place, apparently a, a place where there's a lot of uh, movement on, on Fridays and Saturday nights where they go out and stuff. And they were shouting things like, we're not afraid, we're not afraid. And it was so great, I, I saw them do that and come together in, in, in groups where normally after, you know, terrorist attacks, they just stay home and don't want to be in groups because they're afraid and they just shouted, we're not afraid. It was great. The terrorists, they didn't win anything. They, they, they didn't. It, it un, it, it's unifying us because it was everybody. Everybody came there. Uh, Catholics, Muslims, blacks, whites, everybody came there. <laughs> it was something positive to take away from something horrible, I think. I just arrived home <laughs> and uh, putting away the container for the garbage. And I'm going to get some food to the chickens. Anyway, um, I went to the uh, shop where I go to pick up house to house um, garbage, and um, you know I was I hadn't been there since the attacks, since the attacks in Brussels. Really wanted to know what their reactions were, and they, actually they were pretty positive too. Just like at the other work, it was uh, apparently people really seem to know that this racism thing isn't good for anything. So, but uh, something actually in hindsight it was funny. At the moment it wasn't, but. Uh, you know I don't uh, use any names, right? So I'm gonna tell you this. Oh, look, there's my house. So I'm gonna tell you this. Um, and eh? To? Sorry about that. Um, so uh, what happened to us? And you know I don't give any, any, any names or anything, but um, what really happened was, uh, let's call him Guy One. Apparently he uh, was witnessed by some people with, um, with, a, uh, with the police and they wanted to know if something, uh, something bad happened. But he said, no, no, nothing bad happened, but he was in a shopping center and he actually witnessed a woman uh, stealing some stuff. So we went to the cash register and he said to the lady at the cash register, look at uh, this lady that's leaving right now, she stole some stuff. So the cash register didn't really know, the, the lady didn't really know what to do. He said, do you want me to stop her? She said, yeah, yeah, stop her, I'm gonna talk to the manager. So he stopped her, he talked to her. She, after a while, admitted that she was had been taking some stuff and 
He said, well, you have to go to the lady at the cash register. She said, oh, yeah, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, but you have to do it. He says, but I would rather, you know, uh, give the stuff back. So she went to give the stuff back. And the guy said, then you have to go to the cash register. So she tried to leave. He stopped her again. He went with her to the cash register. Apparently her identity card was given there. And then he went away. But as he was going out, uh, the police stopped there. Very coincidentally for an uh, unrelated case of uh, traffic transgression, they were there. So he talked to the police and he said what happened. And then the police said, okay, we'll take care of it. Uh, you don't have to stay here. We'll take care of it. He says, okay, it's okay. In comes guy too. And guy too only heard, uh, you know, a part of the discussion that went went on after the guy told the story, and he said, "What you told some to told to the police about somebody stealing? Why do you do that?" He said, "I wouldn't do that if it was from a small guy or something, okay, or from a poor guy, but this is a like a, a chain of, of 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 shops, and and they're rich, and I don't know what." And guy one got mad. He said, what, you, you want to steal from everybody and this and that. And it got so heated at the one moment that... And it ended actually when guy one just went to his truck to go to work. And, um, well, I think, I mean, guy one was... I think he was right to do that. And even though most of us, maybe even I would have been maybe a little afraid to, to go and tell or to even to, certainly to stop her. I mean, you can't fault him for doing that. I mean, he, he just did what he thought was his civic duty and he, he, he had the courage to do it. So on the other hand, Guy Wan really reacted a little, he, he reacted somewhat over the top and some misunderstandings slipped into the conversation, but anyway, it, I thought it, I thought I'd tell you about it. It was, in hindsight, it was pretty funny. At the moment, at that time, it, it was, it was like, what, what's happening here? So, but anyway, um, this is what I wanted to tell you today, and uh, tomorrow I go to that other job, to the Ross job. So, see you tomorrow. Bye.